Hello and welcome to Data Recovery Cincinnati's LLC's video regarding hard drive clicking. I know this video you can also find on our YouTube channel and also there's a page on our website titled hard drive clicking and there will be a link to it as well at the end of the video. So basically the components of a hard drive they've changed a little bit since uh, when hard drives first came out when they had megabyte storage and today I think you'd be hard pressed to even find a excuse me, a smaller hard drive, such as a 250 gigabyte hard drive for retail today, even a 500 gigabyte, which just a few years ago you could find maybe at a micro center or a Fry's, a 500 gigabyte drive, uh, you know, even like a one and a half terabyte drive are very difficult to find. Smallest you'll see today are one terabyte and they go all the way up to five or higher for single drives. The components of drives really haven't changed, as I said earlier. And inside of these hard drives are little metallic disks, which spin at a very high rate of speed. And the newer drives will have your data stored on those and also your firmware as well. So for example, if you have an external hard drive that has been dropped and it's clicking, the amount of damage, you know, the drive may be unrecoverable. And then also we may not even be able to access the firmware, even after playing around with the modules on the PC3000 as well. So what we need to do when you first open up a hard drive that's clicking is you want to do it in an environment that's dust free of course and you usually have a clean room or a clean room hood that you can do that prevents dust or particles to get on the surfaces of the drive inside once you take off the cover. Now immediately if there's a tremendous amount of black powder or residue that's on the little filter that's usually not a good indicator that this drive may be unrecoverable because it just shows the amount of rotational scarring that has occurred on the drive. And then sometimes, even by the visible eye, you can see a little ring that has occurred on the top platter. And if you see that, that's a really bad indication that this drive is probably unrecoverable. Typically, it'll be microscopic. <clears throat> and then what you'll have to do is also see what relies, what lies on the inside platters as well. You'll know, need to make sure that uh, if there's any damage, we'll need to know what platters are significantly damaged. So we might try to shut those off so we can not chew through the heads and then see if we can at least get a partial recovery. Or sometimes we might get lucky and get a full recovery depending on where the data may be stored. So <clears throat> the arm actuator uh, is where the heads lie at the very tip and then they'll kind of set microscopically over each platter top and bottom and that is what will read the data from the platters. Now on the end of that arm actuators I said are the heads and those are what will need to be replaced because if uh, sometimes these heads will crash well not sometimes they always crash uh, those will need to be replaced and you, sometimes with a visible eye you can see the uh, the bend and the chew that's just mingled on the heads. Uh, keep in mind that the top surface of the platter is not only platter, but it also is where the firmware resides. The data can be singled out for a quick recovery, but sometimes that's not always the case and you'll need to go through and image the entire drive if possible. And I usually, on, <clears throat> for us, we usually try to image the entire drive if feasible. Uh, sometimes singling out the data may not render a perfect image. Uh, and also <clears throat> keep in mind that hard drives will click. Uh, the PC board might need to be replaced on the outside of the drive. Now keep in mind if you do swap out your PC board, your ROM chip as well will need to be swapped out so that you can access the data once you have a perfect match on your PC board to the uh, other hard drive. And those are some other advanced data recovery techniques. And if you have any other uh, questions, you can always just let us know by email or check out our other websites uh, in terms of uh, advanced data recovery. We have a lot of other website pages to take a look at with multiple links. Or you can call us at Data Recovery Cincinnati at 513-338-9756. Thank you.